What is going on today? We are back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. We got a bit of news here that I wanted to cover, and it's some very weird news. Kind of just kind of dropped on us out of nowhere, and there's a bit of it's kind of a batch of news. We have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and we're going to dive into all the stuff, man, and get into it with you. So buckle up, man. We're going to dive into it, man. Just buckle up and let's get through it. I want to get all my thoughts about some of this stuff, and we'll just work our way through, man. Hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend. Let's get into it, man. So start things off with this bit of news right here. Just we do have a few updates and a few different things talked about here, man. Ultimate Edition series. Series 24, if you guys were unaware, Ultimate Edition Series 24, this wave is going to consist of Solo Sokoa, Finn Balor, and Bray Wyatt. Now, we did know about this wave. We've known about this wave. I don't remember if we knew Finn Balor was coming in Ultimate Edition Series 24. I want to say we did, though. I want to say that I know for a fact we knew about Bray Wyatt. We've known about Bray Wyatt being in this wave for the longest time, but I can't remember if we knew if Finn Balor and Solo Sokoa were the last two in this set, but I do believe these are up for pre-order right now on Ringside Collectibles. So, if you guys want to get your order in, you want to go over there pre-order these figures. We've taken a look at him. Of course, we saw the Bray Wyatt on display. Finn Balor, we've gotten to see a render image of him. And then Solo Sokoa, we got an update. I want to say this is an updated render. I could be wrong if it's updated or not. But if you'll pay attention to his hands, I can't remember if we discussed this. If you pay attention to his hands, look at the Ultimate Edition hands of this Solo Sokoa. They have the sculpted tape on there. So is this going to be the next step in our WWE action figures? Are we going to see sculpted on tape like we've seen from Jazzwares and AEW? Are they going to start sculpting on wrist tape, hand tape, things like that? I guess with it remains to be seen, but this solo looks like it's going to have that sculpted tape onto the figure. So we'll have to see if that progresses into the Elite line and further lines like that. But I am looking forward to this set overall. It is the next set, you know, uh, about to come out in terms of Ultimate Edition. We don't have any prototype shots or anything. I would imagine it won't be too much longer before we see some actual images of these figures. And I am excited for it between the Finn Balor and the Bray Wyatt. We've seen the Bray Wyatt. We've seen prototypes, which is weird, right? How would the, how would the Bray Wyatt, I guess because it got canceled, that's actually probably right. Right, right? That does make sense. Now that I think about it, the Bray Wyatt was set to release and then they had to postpone it. So that's probably why we've seen prototypes of that one and not Solo and Finn Balor. But I'm excited for this wave. I really do wish that Finn was going to be a demon Finn, but I am excited for the figure overall. Even if I am worried about the formula, we're going to see what we can do about that and see if we can, you know, kind of get into all of those different things, man. Let's dive into the next stuff. I want to get into this. This set right here is shipping and you may even have this in your hands. You, if you can, you can let me know down below if you've already received your two pack here, but the Imperium 2 pack has been shipping it has arrived and one thing I just wanted to take a look at is these images here I really like the way these figures look without their jackets and stuff like that I like the formulas I dig the formulas here and I'm excited for this because I think you may be able to make a Finn Balor out of this Ludwig Kaiser depending on what the formula is I know the gears brown or whatever but if you wanted to make a Finn Balor with that ricochet torso this may be your opportunity to actually do something like that so that's kind of where my head was at we'll play around with that we'll see if that's even possible I guess if you had to paint the tights it wouldn't be the biggest deal but I know that, you know, we've discussed it before. It's like, okay, if you wanted to make a Finn Balor torso different instead of using Randy Orton or Seth Rollins torso, maybe you could have a look at the Ricochet torso. We could see if that works. And this may be able to work for Finn Balor with this Ludwig Kaiser. So I wanted to talk about that and kind of look at this. And I was, I don't know, I was kind of liking the way these images looked. And this should be in our hands soon. So we'll get a review up of this two pack. But I'm, I'm pretty uh, excited about the Imperium two pack. All things considered to go up with our Ultimate Edition Gunther figure. But moving forward, we also have Elite Series 115. Elite Series 115. Now, this is kind of crazy. I can't remember if this was already... I, when we made our news video about Elite 115, I couldn't remember if I if I said that we were kind of revealing the wave or if it was leaked out or if this was added to some sort of list. I can't remember if they talked about it first, but if we did call it, well, we were correct here, but I can't remember if we called this or not, but we do have CM Punk, R-True, Tyler Bate, Drew McIntyre, Kyrie Sane, and The Rock. We've seen most of this set. The only two figures we have not seen really is Tyler Bate and Drew McIntyre, but we have seen the R-Truth. We've seen the CM Punk. We've seen the Kyrie Sane. We've seen the Rock figure. Really excited to see what gear the Tyler Bate is. And I don't think we know what figure is going to be the chase. Now, I can see CM Punk being the chase. But I hope that it would be Tyler Bate because we only have one Tyler Bate. And it was such an old figure and not a good one at that. I could not stand that Tyler Bate, that old one. So this one should be really, really good. And hopefully, he'll be the chase to go with kind of, not necessarily go with Pete Dunne. But it would be cool to see two different Tyler Bates because we haven't had one in so long. And it could be a minute before we get another one that I think that getting an elite, two, two elite Tyler Bates right here would be really nice. Kyrie saying has a couple good figures now this is going to be a good update and stuff so i'm looking forward to elite 115 it should be fun you know we have punk coming in elite 113 we have him coming in elite 115 we have his mattel creations figure coming we have his ultimate edition coming so a ton of cm punks on top of another cm punk that's coming is going to be the next wave that we're talking about and that is going to be the top picks 2025 wave number two and we do know about top picks 2025 wave one that was seth rollins roman reigns and jay uso i do believe and this wave is going to be logan paul cm punk
Punk and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, this is what actually intrigues me about this is, you know, we talk a lot about Stone Cold Steve Austin elites and how, you know, his formula is too small and like we don't get enough of them and what the attire is going to be. That's what kind of intrigues me about the Stone Cold Steve Austin elite is because I'm excited to see what gear they go with. Is this going to be a trunk Stone Cold? Is this going to be a promo gear Stone Cold? Is this going to be, you know, what are they going to do? Are they going to do another shorts attire like we saw in the Then Now Forever 4 pack or the Monday Night Wars in the black shorts? Or is it going to be like the Monday Night Wars? Is it just going to be a re-release of the Monday Night Wars, which would not shock me. If this is just a straight re-release of a figure we've already seen, it will be kind of bummy, but I do expect it to probably be that way because it is a top picks figure. You guys know in top picks, usually just a repaint. It's usually nothing over the top or crazy, but the CM Punk, it is just going to be the plain black trunks. The Logan Paul is going to be the yellow and black. Honestly, the Logan Paul, the, the Logan Paul Elite top picks figure right here reminds me a lot of his Ultimate Edition, so it looks like it's pretty much going to be the Elite equivalent of that Ultimate Edition. Not exactly, but you can kind of see the ties between the two sets of figures there. But the one that intrigues me the most, because we already know about... Like, I don't really care what Logan Paul it was... I really, I, I didn't care what CM Punk it was, but we already know what CM Punk it was because we've seen it already in the all black. But what I'm intrigued for is what Stone Cold's going to be. And I hope that at least give us a new shirt or at least give us something new here. The photo that it shows in this graphic that Ringside Collectibles put up is from his last matchup ever, which was WrestleMania 19 versus The Rock. He's got the OMR on his jacket or the vest, which meant for one more round. And that was that whole deal there. And we've actually already got it. Wasn't this a WrestleMania Elite? They've already done this. So is this just going to be a re-release of that WrestleMania Elite? We will have to find all those things out. So I, it wouldn't shock me if that was the case. I don't expect anything new. But I am excited to see what they do here. So we'll have to see, of course, and cover all our bases. But I wanted to talk about the Top Picks 2025 wave because we didn't know about Stone Cold until Ringside released that information just the other day. But let's dive into some more stuff here, man. We do have Main Event Series 154. This lineup looks pretty good. I like this overall set here. You get some flashbacks. You get some current. You get a, a woman figure for the first time. We do get Randy Orton, CM Punk, AJ Styles, Jake the Snake, and Kiana James which is a pretty decent little set here. It's obviously going to depend on gears. I cannot remember what, uh, what if, if we've already seen these figures or not. I want to say we've seen some of them, but not all of them, but I could be wrong there, man. It's, it's difficult to keep up with main event series sometimes. Sometimes I know them, sometimes I don't. I tend to remember what figures are, but I don't remember what sets they are, especially in the main event waves. And, you know, they do so many re-releases. They do so many repaints of, of basics and main event figures nowadays that it's kind of tough. But they have, you know, they've kind of stretched the creativity. We're getting more suited figures and more, you know, like the purple suited Miz and the invisibility cloak Seth Rollins and stuff like that. The, the hooded Randy Orton or the hooded Dominic Mysterio. They've done some pretty cool stuff here. So hopefully that trend continues here in this wave. We'll have to see exactly what they are if we haven't already. I'm sure they haven't shown off all these figures. So I want to say if they've shown any of these, it hasn't been the whole wave. So there's a whole deal there. But this is what I thought was some of the craziest news that we that we haven't touched on, man. And this was revealed either yesterday or the day before, which kind of inspired this video because I thought it was so crazy, is we have these new Netflix battle packs. Yes, Netflix battle packs. You guys know that in 2025, Raw, WWE Raw is moving to Netflix, and it is going to be Netflix exclusive. They have a massive deal going on. Well, I guess to commemorate that and to kind of, you know, uh, capitalize on that popularity and kind of take... I, I really don't know what the deal is. They've done this in the past, though. We've seen some 2K sets. We've seen some different sets going on that are, you know, kind of not anniversary sets necessarily, but, you know, they have special event or special set scenario sort of battle packs or main event championship showdown pack style deals going on here. So this set right here, these sets, if you will, are going to be coming out. You guys will see there. We have these black and red boxes. They do look good. I do like the packaging here, but it's Netflix and Raw 2-packs, and all they are are re-releases of previous 2-packs, so it's not like it's anything new, but they do have these new packaging, so if you guys are excited about packaging or you guys collect these men on card, maybe this will be something that you want to see here. I don't know why they did just straight-up re-releases, and I want to say these are Walmart exclusive. I could be wrong about that, so just take it, uh, not necessarily with a grain of salt, but just... Kind of keep that uh, to yourself there. I think that this is kind of a Netflix and Walmart style deal that they've done here with Mattel. Where they were like, let's make some figures that can tie in here and they'll be Walmart exclusive. I believe. I could be wrong about that, but I want to say these are Walmart exclusive. The images that I saw had Walmart, low, or had Walmart shelves, I'm pretty sure, in them. So this is just a thing. But it's the Stone Cold Triple H that we've seen. It's the Bulldog and Shawn Michaels. It's the Austin Theory and John Cena. And it is the Rhea Ripley 
and Dominic Mysterio. So, I mean, they're pretty good figures. All these sets are pretty solid. They're decent. So, I don't think that there's a huge issue here with them being re-releases. So, at least we'll get other hands on it. I think the last time we saw these was when we found the shipper. Was it the WrestleMania 40 shipper? I think is when a lot of these battle packs were releasing. So, they are kind of older sets. But if you guys missed out on these and you want to go ahead and grab them, then these are hitting Walmarts, I do believe. Now, again, they could be hitting your targets and other stores as well. I could possibly see these going into, into other stores potentially, but I do believe these are Walmart exclusive. But a very interesting tale indeed. You know, I didn't expect this whatsoever, but there they are, Netflix. And I know a lot of people are going to be talking about the Raw logo. It's a new Raw logo with white lettering and the red lines. Not the biggest deal ever here. I, I don't know. I just don't like the modern logos. They just don't move the needle too much for me. I, I prefer the SmackDown logos over the Raw logo. Raw is just, I don't know, the logo hasn't been the same for a while. I feel like since 2016, I haven't really messed with the Raw logo that much, but I don't know. You can let me know there, but that is a new logo. We have a new logo right there that everybody was talking about, and it's an interesting pack or set regardless. You know, it, when it's like 30 years in the future, I think people are going to probably look back on this pack and be like, oh, that's pretty cool. It has those logos on there. You know, logos are pretty nostalgic and things like that, so there is that, but nonetheless, man, I think that is pretty much all of the news that I wanted to cover. There's just a little bit of, you know, little stuff here and there that I wanted to cover, come on here and discuss because we hadn't got had a chance to discuss them, and I wanted to talk about all of it in one video. Biggest thing for me personally was going to be the Stone Cold Steve Austin being in the top picks wave. I'm intrigued to know exactly what that's going to look like, who that's going to look like, what figure that's going to be, if it's going to be a straight-up re-release. And then uh, I thought that the Ultimate Edition Solo having that taped hand in there, that sculpted tape, that is something that I didn't notice before. And I noticed it, and I was like, oh, that's actually, I don't think we ever discussed that. So if I missed out on that, I definitely wanted to make that known. But I think that's all the news that I want to discuss, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd like to know all your thoughts on this news down in the comment section below. Are you intrigued about the Netflix packs? Are you going to be grabbing those? What's your details and thoughts there? I'm imagining that, you know, Elite 113 should be shipping very, very soon from Ringside Collectibles, as well as some other things. So it should be fun, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our news video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. And a huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support. And a huge shout out to all the people that came by the Whatnot stream the other night. We're having our next Whatnot stream October 20th. So it's going to be not this Sunday, but two, two Sundays from now. So not this Sunday or the next Sunday, but the next Sunday. And it should be good, man. We're going to have a lot of stuff up for sale, some good things up for grabs. So hopefully you guys can come by the stream. It was a lot of fun, always is. But if you guys are interested in that, definitely click the link in the description below. You can join on there, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one and enjoy your weekend.